Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and I look how I feel. Okay. <laughs> I have been so unmotivated to record or make videos this week because, you know, I've been very consistent and life is like, all right, chill. <laughs> so regardless of that, I look how I feel. Okay. But we're going to get it together. We're going to do... A little chit chat get ready with me I have a specific topic I want to talk about um, something that I think is important and that I think will be uplifting to you guys I want to debunk some of the myths that come along with being natural going natural being a black woman with kinky hair going natural because as we all know there are different types of hair and people tend to look at certain hair types as better or ideal you know what I'm saying so we're gonna talk about all those things that come along with going natural being a black woman in the natural hair space um, and embracing accepting loving your natural hair and while I do that I'm going to beat my face because I've been getting a lot of questions about the makeup that I've been wearing in my insecure reviews and just in other videos so we're gonna chit chat we're gonna talk we're gonna beat our face and all of what I'm using will be down below in the box um, clickable links everything like that colors shades and if I miss something you have a question Go ahead and comment that down below and I will get right on answering that. So let's just jump right on in to the video. I hope that you guys are doing well, taking care of yourself. I don't have a mirror in front of me. I'm, oh my gosh. I want to talk about something that I think that we've all heard. I've been natural going on 10 years. Going on. It's like been nine years. I've been natural way too much powder oh my gosh what the hell am I doing anyways when I first began the journey people always told me that I was cute and that's why I could go natural like oh you're cute like you have the face for it you have the head shape for it you have you're skinny whatever the hell people tell me all the time like oh you just have the it factor to go natural and it's like sis no I just this is how I was made, that's how you were made, that's how whoever else was made. So I'm going natural not because I have the face for it or the skin type for it or the texture for it. I'm going natural because I want to, first of all, and then whatever comes out of my head, I'm going to embrace whatever the hell that's gonna be, you know what I mean? But I wanna kinda dive in to what people mean when they say, I look crazy, when they say that you have the face to go natural or they don't have the face to go natural i really want to kind of dive into that because it's not just about you being cute and them thinking that they aren't cute it's about feeling as if in order to have natural hair you have to be gorgeous <laughs> in order to wear your hair out you have to be in the top percentile of what beauty is considered to be in our society. And that to me just breaks my heart because I don't want little girls, little boys, young black children to feel like they can't be natural because it's for pretty people, whatever the hell that means. You know what I mean? And those statements stem from the idea that wearing your natural hair takes a toll on your beauty. Wearing your hair kinky, curly isn't as flattering as wearing your hair straight. So you must be absolutely gorgeous to pull it off. And that's something that I wholeheartedly, as you can imagine, disagree with. I think it actually breaks my heart because we're told so often in many ways that our hair is not attractive that we aren't attractive with our hair and if our hair looks the way that it looks being kinky we just simply don't belong in the space and i'm saying that with intention the idea that having kinky hair makes you look unkept unattractive less desirable and things like that and i feel like in the social media space 
because of the popularity of looser textured curls and because the desire people have to have looser textured curls, we end up with this idea that if we don't have those things, then we aren't attractive and we don't really belong in the natural hair space or just to even have natural hair. And I think that like, if you guys watch YouTube videos or if you on Instagram, whatever the case is, you've more than likely seen people be uplifted and be praised for having curly hair and you've seen people comment on their picture on their video on their posts saying things like i don't foresee myself doing the style as in the numbers four and letter c like i don't foresee myself doing this or you know what i'm saying and people think it's a joke and it's like oh it's so funny it's never been funny to me and never will be funny to me because I feel like it is just you internalizing that you're unable to achieve that style and it's automatically a negative thing. When you perpetuate those, those same ideas and the idea that having kinky curly hair or just kinky thick textured hair that does not have curl definition automatically equates to slave hair, or unattractive hair or manly hair. These are things that stay with us that we pass down to our children. And I work with children, as I mentioned on this channel a bunch of different times, and I had a young black child, a young black male child, comment on my hair in my past, you know, that I need to get my hair done, that I had nigga naps, you know what I'm saying? And obviously the child is like, I think he was like seven, you know? And the fact is that someone, whether it be in his family or on TV or his older friends, older siblings, someone taught this child that my hair looking how it looks is a negative thing. That it means I don't care about myself or I don't care to look nice or I don't care to be attractive. So I say all this to say that we've all experienced in our lives, if we're black people, some form of putting ourselves or putting other black people down based upon skin tone, texture, features, all the things that have been pushed on us from the European standard of beauty. So I'm making this video to tell you guys that you're beautiful <laughs> and I like from the bottom of my heart whatever the hell you look like however the hell your hair grows however your features sit on your face whatever the case is and I want this to be an encouragement to you guys because it's not easy and because I've been natural for so long I just don't even think of my hair ever in a negative light I don't see a problem with my hair it's been a part of me for almost 10 years, so it's not even like logical in my mind to not have this hair on my head. But I know for new naturals, for people that are not true to this, but new to this, for you guys that are testing the waters or feeling insecure with your TWA and stuff like that, I truly want this to be inspiring in a different way. We don't have to put other hair textures down. We don't have to compare. We don't have to be jealous. With that being said, I'm encouraging you guys and I'm, I'm begging you guys to teach your children and your nieces and your godchildren and your cousins and whomever else around you that they are beautiful regardless, regardless. Because a lot of times we find ourselves trying to put down people that don't have what we have whatever the case is, because we're hurt and we're damaged and we feel as if we have to compensate, overcompensate for the hate we've been getting our whole lives. You know what I'm saying? And that's not, not really the play, at least over here in my life. I don't I don't care to put anybody down um, to uplift myself because at the end of the day, it's not really uplifting you, it's just hurting you more than it hurts the other person. If somebody tells you that you have the face or the texture 
or the look or whatever to be natural, I encourage you to check them and tell them there is no good hair, bad hair, right look, wrong look, pretty face, ugly face. And I catch myself doing it too. Like, oh, I don't have the face to have short hair. When I think that I'm cute, so why would I say that? You know what I'm saying? That's just insecurity and thinking that I have to have a super slim, high cheekbones, model-esque face to pull off a shortcut. And that's not really helpful to my psyche, right? So people that tell you with your natural hair that they don't have the face to be natural is just putting themselves down and it's not really lifting you up either. We all come from the continent of Africa, right? So we all have those connections and we should be able to uplift each other wholeheartedly without the comparison and without the negativity that comes along with saying you have the look for a short TWA. I don't have that. And what you're saying with that is that even though natural hair is kind of like questionable, you are cute enough to pull it off. <laughs> and that to me is offensive. I don't want to hear that. I don't want you to tell, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Okay? So in the past, I've talked about texturism on YouTube, social media, and how truthfully it's a lot easier to gain support, to gain a following and different things when you have looser textured hair. And people always feel that's like a hating thing, like, oh, like you just need to work harder, you just mad, whatever. Because I know my heart, <laughs> I know that I have no hate in my heart, and I have no level of envy for women that have loose textured hair, I don't agree with that. So I don't, I don't, I don't let it bother me. I, don't, I really truly don't care. But I don't want you guys that have kinky hair to follow people that have loose hair and then feel inadequate when their styles turn out a certain way and yours does not. I would rather, and I that's my sole purpose on this platform, is for you guys to watch me and to feel like you see yourself in my content. So you feel like you see yourself when you see me. And you don't see someone that you're trying to look like or be like. You don't see a head of hair that you cannot achieve that makes you feel inadequate. And it really does bother me when I see the I cannot foresee comments or I could never or cries and foresee. It bothers me because it's not a, really a joke. So maybe to you when you see it, it's funny, but you truly mean that you can't do that and you wish that you could. So for me, instead of trying to downplay yourself and your beauty and your hair texture, maybe try to find styles that do look good on your hair texture or try styles out that make you feel beautiful and make you feel worthy enough to not have to comment under every single loose textured page on Instagram that you can't foresee yourself doing that. And that's just my opinion. I tend to be a little bit more radical when it comes to social media stuff. I tend to find lots of different things on these platforms to be super cringy. <laughs> and those comments are one of the cringiest things that I see um, on the hair pages and on hair bloggers comments, you know, which is why I'm realizing as time goes on, as I grow on my platforms, is that I really want you guys to come to me on my channel and feel seen feel appreciated and feel and feel like you can do whatever it is that I'm doing and I know that it might sound a little bit like oh you're thinking too hard into it but I'm not because at the end of the day the person commenting those comments wishes they could foresee themselves <laughs> doing that style and that's just a part of texturism colorism and the fact that we've been told all of our lives and are still told to this day that what we have, skin tone, texture, features, is just not good enough. 
And I really want to make an impact in breaking those thoughts. I really truly want to break down the idea that if we don't look as close to white as possible, we aren't beautiful. We aren't enough. So I don't spend time trying to define my curls every week I don't, and putting on YouTube for you guys. I don't spend time trying to make my hair do tricks and flips and all types of tumbles to look a different texture. I see through a lot of BS. Is a gnat in here? What the hell? I see through a lot of BS on these platforms and I just wanted to bring my my truth to it. My truth to it. Um, so yeah, there's that. Comment down below and let me know if you kind of get what I'm putting out. If it makes sense to you. Um, I think I'm making sense, you know, but I'm the one talking. So <laughs> let me know. I think that I'm not the person to feel like curly hair girls don't belong in the space. I would never say that. I would never believe that. I think that there's a representative for everyone. So you might watch me and see yourself in my content. You might watch someone else and see yourself in that content. And it could be hair, it could be skin, it could be skin, um, skin type, oily, dry, acne prone, high pigmentation. There's so many things that you can watch an influencer for, personality, and you can enjoy. I literally watch a few, more than a few YouTubers that don't have my hair texture, that I just enjoy their personality. So I'm not the person that's like, oh, don't watch anyone and don't. My thing is, don't watch someone and make yourself feel bad and make yourself spend every single penny in your account buying the latest gels and latest tools to define the curls and look like so-and-so and you just may never get there. And more than likely, you probably will not get there. Because I began my journey in 2011 doing the same thing. I began my journey thinking that I could get my hair to look like natural 85s. I love her. I buy her products. As you guys know, I watch her videos. I love Whitney's content and her, and her spirit. But at this point, I watch her for entertainment. I watch her to get latest information, but I don't watch her to get my hair to look like hers, if that makes sense. But at first I was, and I was like, damn, why is this not working? Why isn't my hair getting like this? Why is my hair so dry? Why is my hair so brittle? Why is my hair so shrunken? And I just had lots of different feelings <laughs> about my hair that was negative because people told me that this type of hair this thick this kinky this that and the third it's not desirable you know it's not it's not cute it's not feminine you know white women can have pixie cuts and they can have short little different cuts on their hair but when we do it, we have TWAs, when we have tapered cuts, we look manly. I resent that. And I have so many problems with that. Don't tell me I look manly with my little short cut because if Karen can have a short cut and she can be edgy and model-esque and look like whatever, you know, I can have my short cut and I could be bad, okay? I could look amazing with my short cut. So it's like, I just want us to not internalize all of the things that we're told about us that just puts us down. Because it's hard being a black woman. And don't let anyone make you feel bad for saying that or feeling. It's hard to sometimes feel confident and feel attractive and feel like you're bad as hell when lots of forces outside tell you the opposite you know and we have people being harassed people dying people being treated like shit in the streets 
you know, we have these things happening on a regular basis around us. And Twitter and Instagram and YouTube are showing us that our voices really, truly don't matter to a lot of people. So it's up to us, which is why I'm making this video, it's up to us to uplift each other and to support each other. And the black women and men that follow me and support me and watch all of my videos and uplift each other is a major reason why I keep doing this. People DMing me, tell me that before they found my channel and my page, they felt like their hair was never gonna be nothing you know people telling me that they felt like before they found my page that their hair was ugly and seeing me continually wear my hair and continually show my hair and never really do nothing else to it because i'm really really simple <laughs> is uplifting them and encouraging them to do the same thing that's a big reason if not the main reason why i keep going so I don't know if I'm on a tangent right now or not, but I really wanted to leave this video here as a form of encouragement. And the kind of encouragement that isn't just, oh, rock your hair, your hair is beautiful, you're beautiful. This encouragement is truly meant to be like, whatever they say about black women, whatever they tell you about your texture hair, Whatever you feel when you scroll through hair pages on Instagram, don't internalize that as that means you're less than. Don't internalize that at all, truly. And if you already know that you are untouchable, tell somebody else, okay? Encourage another black woman encourage another kinky haired woman because we need that encouragement more than you guys know we need that encouragement so let's make the comment section a forum like i always say let's talk about some instances in which you felt less than or you felt like you had to compete or compare just let me know down below if you can relate to what I'm talking about. And if you have anything similar or anything's happened to you in your life or recently or online or whatever the case is that has made you feel less than. I want to touch on the fact that most of us, when we cut our hair off and go natural, we oftentimes get really deep into makeup. We get really big earrings, face full of makeup, eyebrows, lashes, lip gloss, because we feel like we're not feminine with our natural hair. We feel like without our hair on our back, we aren't attractive. So I've gone through it. I've, I've done it before. Trash makeup. <laughs> when I was 18, 19 years old, horrible makeup, but I was trying to like look better with my natural hair. And I want to encourage us to not feel as though our hair is masculine or unattractive or unladylike. I want to encourage you to love whatever grows out of your hair, out of your head, on a real deep level. And that takes self self work, and that takes a level of acceptance that we all could use more of. You following me? Face is pretty much done. I've been loving a clear gloss lately. This one is from e.l.f. It's the move, like, it's just the move. Like, it's truly just the move. <laughs> so the video is pretty much done. It actually is done. Um, I'm keeping on my same shirt that I've been wearing all day. And I'm keeping, <laughs> I'm not gonna put any earrings on. I'm gonna stay right here in this chair. <laughs> oh gosh. There are so many other things within this topic that we can dive into and I could kind of make it like a series in a way because I feel like there's always some foolishness happening in this space in our current day that is utterly like, like what? 
like are y'all serious so i could definitely make more videos on this topic if you guys want me to let me know down below i think i'm pretty much done though for today face is beat hair is doing whatever it wants to do <laughs> um in case anybody wants to know this is the same hair from the one product twist out so i posted that video last wednesday so it's been literally a week and my hair is still moisturized we're not like super defined but it's been a week so i ain't worried come on like come on i haven't added anything to my hair i promise i haven't put no water i've been really in my bed and working like i've just been a mess so this hair is pineappled hair from that twist out and I think that it looks pretty good and we still have moisture we're not super dry we still have movement like what is crazy it's been literally a week to the day because today's Wednesday and I recorded that video on Wednesday too anyways video done video lock off I appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching I hope that you feel encouraged I hope that you feel loved appreciated I hope that this video made you smile in a way that you're like yes I am that bitch. I hope that you felt like that <laughs> watching today's video. If you are new and you watch the entire long, long winded, full face beat video and you have not joined the Can of Kinks family, I'm not quite sure what the issue is, but go ahead and click subscribe and the bell. Give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Sunday for my next upload. I upload every single Wednesday and Sunday. I appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to leave your comments down below and let me know if I was spitting or not. Like I want to know. I know I was spitting but just let me know. Re reassure me. I need reassurance too sometimes, you know? Okay. Okay. <laughs>